Over the years, your favorite brands have made millions and millions of dollars by sending emails to your inbox that make you say, wow in the hopes that you will proceed to buy more of their stuff. And to be fair, emails have come a long way. They've gone from looking like this to looking like this. But the problem with a lot of these emails is they aren't making these brands a lot of money. And on top of that, some brands look like they're still stuck in 2003. Well, today I'm putting together email designs for three well-known brands to not only make them look nicer, but to also make them more money, starting with Gymshark. So hopping over into Figma here, I've pulled up the Gymshark email here that I received about two weeks ago. We can tell that it is trash. There's one main hero image up at the top here, and then at the bottom you have some product sections, and the middle product picture isn't even there. And especially with users who are pretty much zombies when they're opening their email, you need to make it clear that they can click each of these items. It's just really lame, and it doesn't give off the vibe that you want to give off for the brand. Side note, these navbar buttons right at the top of the email actually hurt conversions. You want to put these navbar buttons at the bottom. So let's get to redesigning. So first I just created a frame and named it Gymshark and now we've set it to 600 pixels wide so that we can design. First step, we're just gonna put the logo in. We just made a 600 wide, put the logo in the middle so it's not distracting and you don't have all these buttons. Now we wanna do the hero image. Now instead of just doing a base graphic, I wanna add a little bit of copy because this copy down here isn't too bad. And then I wanna create a button right at the top of the email so people who just wanna click can do that. And this is a really high converting sale outline that you can do and this is gonna be over top an image, I should go to their Instagram or their website and find one. All right, found a decent image here. We're gonna go with this. It gives off the winter vibes since it's a winter sale and it shows kind of someone with the physique that someone in Gymshark would want. So if we try to slide this in, it's just not gonna work. So I'm gonna put this down something like this and then we're going to replicate this color towards the top. So right here, I just extended this image by adding a rectangle with this color, added a quick gradient so it flowed, and yeah, it looks pretty good. Here's the copy that they had. Here's what we ended up going with. Last call, add some urgency, up to 60% off select styles, because I noticed at the top here, nobody knows what percent off you're getting. 60% off is pretty big, so let's put that right in front of their face. And then we added some quick copy, punish your 2024 goals for standing in your way, start the year off strong with these selected doorbuster deals. And then the call to action, it's nice and big, we just put save now. Now you'll see a lot in these designs, I focus a lot on simplicity. Obviously I don't have all the branding assets for this brand, but this is nice and simple. And usually the more simple the email, the better it converts. Now let's get to the product section. I'm going to extend this down so we can keep working with it. Cool, I added some corners here to make sure that it flowed better. And now we're going to add a sub headline here. These are probably some sale favorites. So we're going to do sale favorites and add that as a sub headline. And usually if we have a product section like this, we don't want to put three products wide. We just want to stack them one by one. All right, so I just pulled these images off their website. We're going to add the name of the product, the price, maybe the colors of them, and then an individual shop now button for each of them. Here's what we're looking like. We have the names of the product, prices, and individual shop now buttons. This is going to convert a lot better because it's a lot more clear what products are on sale. And also we're showing them that there are different color options. Plus, you're actually going to see more conversions if you're doing a big sale like 60% off, showing the original price and then showing the new price. So I think this is looking pretty good. Let's add a shop all button at the end into this email to make sure that even if they didn't see a product they like, they can shop the other items. Here we go, shop all sale, and then add a little bit of copy. There's plenty more where that came from. Now remember what I said about the nav bar being at the top of this email and wanting to put it at the bottom of this one? That's what we're gonna do. So we are just going to extend this down a little bit, and then I just have this saved in another tab. We have the copy at the bottom for essentially all the legal stuff. Just added in the other stuff, just literally screenshotted from over here, and then we added navs for woman and man, as well as some social icons. With having your nav bar at the bottom of the footer, you're going to get a lot more clicks because if after somebody views your email, they're like, oh, I didn't find exactly what I was looking for, but I'm interested in purchasing, they can go and find this. All right, so here's the final product of the email. Super simple. We're worried about making the most money possible, and this is clean. It has conversion rate optimization, and I guarantee it's going to perform better than the image on the left. All right, now that we have Gymshark, let's move to the next brand, which is Lululemon. Their emails are very image-oriented, so we're going to try to implement that a little bit into our design as well. So here's the email in question. You can see we have some copy up at the top here. We have a button and then a lot of pictures. The main thing that jumps out at me is there are not many clear buttons. And then also we have this nav bar here at the top, which we're going to want to move to the bottom. This copy is really good, so I definitely want to keep that. But the main thing that we want to fix is this button right here. We've actually tested this, and if you have a button in the top left corner of an email, the clicks are going to drop dramatically, compared to if you have the button in the middle. You have your phone in your right hand, and you're scrolling your email, and if there's a button 
button in the top left, you have to actually stretch your thumb to reach the button, and it's actually a very small button as well. And with people being so lazy and being zombies when they're opening their emails, it's very hard to get them to actually click that. So I just created this little base template here, and then we have the logo here at the top. Now what I'm thinking is having a headline at the top with the melt into it and having a GIF right here in the middle showing all these different products so that we don't need to take up a bunch of space with the pictures and then having the body copy and then the button around here. So we're actually going to go to this website called EasyGIF to create our header GIF. I just pulled some images off their site. We're going to upload here. We're going to put the delay time to one second. So it's one second for each. And then let's make the GIF and see what it comes out as. I think this is going to be perfect. Let's save this and bring it over to Figma. Here's the GIF. We're just going to insert this here. And I think we're going to add a border to this image rather than having it bleed across the full thing. Let's change this to outside and maybe make it three wide and I changed my mind I wanted to do it manually because we're gonna put some copy here and some copy here and boom just like that we have yoga trending we have that image just put into their head now I just put header body and button here because usually that's what your layout is gonna look like and you make your life a lot easier if you create your skeleton so now we're just gonna change this to their copy that they already have melt into it now I'm literally just gonna copy and paste their body copy right here and then let's change this button CTA to shop trending we have a triangle leading somebody down to the button. This is perfect. This is going to be a lot easier for somebody to click rather than having your button way up here in the top left corner. It just feels like something is missing on this left email. So why don't we add some testimonials to go along with this email? Again, I'm going to start with making this outline here. Let's just say we're going to have a sub header here. So here's what our outline is going to look like. We're just going to have testimonial and then a picture of the product and then same thing, repeat a couple times and then have a button back down again at the bottom. All right, I just inserted these images from their website because these are the product featured here on the left and now let's go find some testimonials just copy and pasted some testimonials and what's going to increase conversions as well for these testimonial emails is just put verified buyer if you're already verifying them through your review program why don't you mention that so we focus these testimonials on style comfort and being specific to yoga so we're just going to move this button right at the bottom in case somebody didn't find the product that they wanted but they want to keep shopping now this is going to convert a lot better than on the left because they're just less options for the person to choose from and they're not just being bombarded with a bunch of different pictures. Decision fatigue, you give somebody so many options, they're less likely to choose any of them. But it still feels like there's something missing here. I feel like we should be promoting some other product sections as well, because maybe somebody doesn't want to shop yoga. So why don't we add some more buttons down here, promoting some different product collections. We're just copying everything down here, and then we'll add a sub headline, shop by collection. So these are the collections I want to do, running, workout, casual, and yoga, but this doesn't look very good then i'm gonna add some images behind these buttons i just went to the store grabbed some images and then took away the shop because i thought that looked better and i think this looks pretty good i'm just gonna move this up just a tiny bit and then now let's just put in the footer and i think we should be good to go i just kept it the same for them i don't think we have to do too much we don't really need to promote the collections like we did in the other email at the bottom i think we are all set so here's what the finished product looks like we melt into it yoga trending we have a clear button and then we have some testimonials with individual shopping options and then we can shop by collection at the bottom notice again we didn't do anything crazy with design a lot of times design can distract the viewer so we keep it real simple and just make clear buttons plus we altered the driving message being trending rather than just a general yoga promotion last but most definitely not least we're going to be doing a watch brand called nixon i joined their email list the other day and the welcome email i got was just not good and so we're going to help them generate a lot more money by upgrading their design. Here is the email that I was sent. You can see again, we have the nav bar at the top. We have a small hero image and then we have the discount and a little bit of information. Now, I really like this bottom nav section because it has men's watches, women's watches, other ways to shop. So I think we're going to keep this. But for a welcome email, this is just not what you want to go with. Right off the bat, most people are going to be opening that first email because they just want to get that discount code and leave. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to move this button way up at the top of the email so that somebody can just open the email and go. And then we're gonna make this code a static code so that it's easier for somebody to remember so that they can apply it at checkout. And then we're gonna bridge that with some more information on the brand and then actually show some of the products because right here, they haven't shown a single one of their products. 
And that's usually kind of the winning layout that we want to do for that first welcome email. I just put together an outline. You can see clearly that we have the discount and the button at the top of the email so that the person can just get it and leave. We'll have a hero image kind of showing off the brand. And then we'll get to some body copy, a little bit more about the brand, a button so that they can shop right there. We're going to mix in some social proof and then we're going to get to showing them some products. I found a really cool picture off their Instagram. I think this is going to be amazing for the header. So let's just put this in here and then we're probably going to have to extend it here at the top. I just extended this up by copy being the color and I think that this looks awesome. Now let's just fill in the header and the discount and the button. We just have a simple welcome to the Nixon family, give them their code, the discount, and then the shop button. So we kind of have this extra space here at the bottom and I think this is going to be a great place to fit in some social proof. We're going to put this here to just give somebody more options to shop the brand and kind of fill in some of this space. Now let's fill in some of this copy for the subheadler. We want to outline some unique selling propositions. In the body we're going to give a little bit of brand background. We're going to remind them of the discount and then Tell them to shop it. All right, so here's what was put together by Michael, the number one accessory brand for independent creatives and free thinkers. Right there, just calling out the person that they are targeting. Originating as a boutique watch company in Southern California, Nixon has become an industry leader in providing premium lifestyle accessories worldwide. If you're anything like us, you value style and affordability. So we've made it our mission to provide you with both. Explore our extensive collection of accessories and have everyone asking, where'd you get that? And then use code WELCOME15 for 15% off. For this middle section here, I'm thinking that we outline some of their community and giving back efforts, specifically around the ocean. I think that's going to fit really well. We have some copy in with the subheadlines, people in, plastics out. I think this works really well and it just gets people more invested into the brand. Rather than just having a plain white background, we put an image of the ocean of a dude surfing. Now for this product section, I think we keep it real simple and just show off the products like we have in the others. We're going to make this first headline really big. Check out our top sellers so that it really grabs people's attention. And then rather than just go straight into the products, why don't we like preview the products in like a line up here just to break up some vertical action and then we'll have things stacked vertically. We kept it really simple, just show the products but very up close. There's a different variety of them and then a shop all button at the bottom. And actually, I think I'm gonna remind them of the discount one more time right here. Here's the finished product. I think as far as layout, this is just a perfect welcome email. We start out with giving them the discount, welcoming them in with the button right at the top. And then we mix in some social proof and we go into some brand background, unique selling propositions, remind them of the discount, go over some charity efforts or some social proof, and then show off some of your best sellers and give them the chance to shop all. Here's the original Gymshark and then our new one, the original Lululemon and our new one, and then the original Nixon in our new one. Just note how simple we kept it. We didn't go crazy with the graphics. We kept things simple and we focused more on the actual layout of the email. I can say with 100% certainty that these new designs would outperform the previous ones but I would love to hear your guys' thoughts. Thank you so much for watching this video until the end. If you liked what you saw, got some value on it, make sure to drop a like or subscribe. Also, click on this video if you want to learn more about the only e-commerce growth strategy that you need for 2024. Again, thank you, and I will see you in the next one.